command of the Royal Air Force ranges from the Arctic Circle to the coast of West Africa and from the Baltic westward a thousand miles out into mid-Atlantic. The constant strikes on enemy shipping and on the U-boats and their bases fire the imagination. But behind the drama of attack is the ceaseless, patient, humdrum vigil of patrol over the whole of this vast area. In all weathers, winter and summer, this routine work of protecting our convoys and searching out the enemy goes on. Day and night, the aircraft and their crews are ready at stations all round our coasts, from the southern tip of Cornwall to such lonely northern outposts as Port Ferry Bay. professional show. It's a sort of a party where everybody's sort of going to get in together, sit down and enjoy themselves. And tonight, look, we're, we're especially glad there's so many sergeants here. Honestly, if there's one thing we love to see out there, it's sergeants. It's the only time they sit down, shut up and listen. <laughs> Campbell? I bring flat and PD in, sir. Yes, do. So. Come on, baby. Hello, PD boy. He still doesn't salute when he comes into the operation from Campbell. Does most other things, sir. Good evening, Campbell. Here's the general situation. Group want me to send out an anti-submarine patrol over convoy AL-37, a homeward-bound convoy which is approaching the suspected U-boat area. Gordon has all the details. Here's your form, Green. That's the present position of the convoy. It's a 20 hundred hours, is it, sir? That's right, and at 0800 hours tomorrow morning, she changes course to 145. I see it. You'll see it on the map. Thank you very much, sir. Call for you, sir. Hello. Hello. Here's a net forecast. What's the weather like, Sean? Oh, it looks fair enough, Johnny. Here's the rest of your day. Thank you, sir. 
Hello, sir. All right, nice steady job tonight, Brisk. All night convoy escort. What one of those? I'm afraid so. Convoy AL-37, those at position, 20 hundred hours. That's where we leave it, at 0800 hours in the morning. Yes. You birds suspected in the vicinity? That's why we're out there. Oh, is it a large one? It's fairly large, 42 merchant vessels. What time do we be away now, Campbell? I'll be off the water by half past eight, sir. That's fine. You got all your gin, Jamie? All set, sir. Oh, the crew are on board. Yes, the RT's work has changed, too. Hey, for Tommy, calling Sandpiper. Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Over to you. Over. Hello, T for Tommy. Hello, T for Tommy. This is Sandpiper calling T for Tommy. Sandpiper calling T for Tommy. Yes. Receiving you clearly and distinctly, strength nine. Night, sir. Clearly and that distinctly, be. strength nine. Have you anything for me? Have you anything for me? Night, sir. Over to Cheers you. Up, Good luck. Hail, smiling morn. What sort of a day? Oh, not too bad, I suppose. But it never does look good to me this time in the morning. No, not for me, thanks. I'll go and have a pipe. By the way, where's that cat? No, not your kind of a cat, Petey, you old fool. I mean Catalina. The one that's relieving tea for Tommy. Oh, A for Apple. Oh, she's been up an hour now. She should be about halfway there. I think Campbell's convoy just about missed those so U-boats, Bernard. Hmm. Must have had a pretty boring night. Yes, I'll bet they're just about browned off, Bernard. Being relieved from food now. But I'll take over. Okay, sir.
Hello, what is it? Aircraft on the starboard beam, sir. Aircraft starboard beam. Got it, sir. Park wall. Hello, front gunner. Can you see him? Yes, sir, I can see him. Right, we're going for it. Message here from Tifa Tommy. Enemy aircraft shadowing convoy. Oh, probably spotting for U boats. We'd better send it to A for Apple in case he hasn't picked it up. Right, sir. Hello, everybody. Enemy subs suspected in this area. Keep a good look at Hello, 
now, Skipper. We've only got two left for two and a half hours. I think we'd better set course for home. OK, Jamie. Hang on for about five minutes more, and then we'll go. Hey, Henry, got some good gen here. Whizzo! Well, this operator's intercepted this message, sir. Someone's had a busy time. Thank you, Jamie. It's always the way, Sean. Hello, Captain calling all positions. Captain calling all positions. I thought you'd like to know that our relief has sunk our U-boat. Lucky devils. Just our luck. What have we been doing all night? Don't you think we'd better have a boat mastered, sir? I don't got any ideas. Charlie always gets the wrong idea. I've got an idea, all right. Just leave it to me. OK. Your idea at the moment is to keep a lookout for Catalina. There's an aircraft over the starboard. I think it's our cat. Hello, all gun positions. There's our Catalina on the starboard side. That's her, all right. We've had this. We'd better get ready now. Quarters operations room. Controller, one moment, please. Controller Coastal speaking. All right, thank you. Plotter? Yes, sir? Air sweeps three and four have returned early. Have them taken off the board with me. Right, sir. Will you take down sorties three and four, please? Seven o'clock, I should dare to get my breakfast. I'm feeling that way too. We've had a busy night. Wouldn't be too bad except for that radar. Good morning. What's all this I hear about a radar? Oh boy, just made it. Well, the Navy had a belated report of a possible radar in Bergen the day before yesterday. So we laid on those searches on the Norwegian coast and also those patrols you see, five, one and two, between Iceland and Norway, in case she tries to break out. Have they any idea what she is? Well, they think she's a Dusseldorf. Mm. So far, we've only got her up as a query at Bergen on the board. I suppose that's why you're reinforcing the escort in those two convoys 10 and 11 out there. Yes, I thought we'd better be on the safe side, just in case. Any U-boat reports? Yes, there's a very good attack down in the bay. Looked like a kill. Oh, grand. Uh, full report in yet? Yes, the reports are in. There's a lot of wreckage in there. Well, there doesn't have anything else unusual, except that long met flight, number 12, out in the Atlantic. What's that all about? That was specially laid on for Air Ministry. Uh, it should meet convoy number 15, too. And uh, I've left a note here in the log for you to tell the SASO if they do get a sighting report. Oh, well, that's all right. I think there's nothing else. I'll take over now. OK. Well, shut up. Good watch. Good breakfast to you. Cheer up, Edora. So long, Jerry. You're your breakfast. Morning, eh? 
Morning, P.W. Looks like a busy day today. Radar business. Yes, I wonder if she really is at sea. Oh, there's my phone. I'll come and see you in a minute. I know. Control Coastal. 905 Squadron. I'll ask my assistant. Do you have any signal about 905? No, sir. No, we've heard nothing definite about it yet. You're going to move 6 of 678 from Antrim to Kerry Keel today. I see. Give it to Plotter, will you? Yes, sir. Plotter? Yes, sir? I have an enemy plot for you. All right, sir. Catalina N of 470 reports an enemy unit. Bearing 358 degrees. Eight miles I got something from for you. Fetty William, London Orange. 2348. Course, 235 degrees. Speed, 25 knots. Time, 0700. Plot it as an enemy naval force. Right, sir. You've got everything you want? Fine. That's all right. I'll tell the Admiralty and let you know what they want. Right, thank you. Look, 27, I've just had that enemy report in from N-470. Have you ordered a relief aircraft to take over shadowing the radar? A standby Sunderland from Port Ferry Bay. Good. Leroy? No, thanks. Huey? Yeah, I'll have some. That's enough. Well, I'm going to do some work, blokes. Don't strain yourself, Joe. Can we have something on the radio, Pete? Something nice and soothing, Pete. I'm not quite myself today. What the hell you got there? It's the boat's new mascot. Let's have a look. Who is it? Who the devil do you think it is? Santa Claus? What's this, a pigtail? No, it's to sling him up in the wardrobe. Lucky old Hitler. Let's have a look, Lou. Cool. Just what he needs. Yeah, give it to me. Shafty Lou? I've lost a shirt. Shut up. Skipper's coming aboard, right? So he is. Oi! The skipper's coming aboard! Okay. Right, folks, skipper's coming. Lob the stuff out. I'll give you a hand with the washing up, Pete. A woman's work is never done. Who's responsible for that? No. Thought so. Seven hundred all signed yes, up. So Morning, good. Moon. Oh. Good Lord. <laughs> Pretty fitting end to him, isn't it, Jerry? Pretty well, not the real one here, sir. Lewis? Yes. I suppose you made this. Yes, sir. All right. Jolly good effort. Jolly good. What's your little boy? Give that to Lewis, will you? Okay. Uh, something special on the day, sir? Yes, there is. Now, I want all the crew down in the wardroom right away. Okay. Huey! Hello. Ask the uh, lads to come down. The skipper wants everybody in the wardroom. Right. Pull up there. The skipper right. wants you all in the wardroom. What? All of us? Yes, everybody. Is he? Roy? Something special on the day. Hope so, anyway. How's your boots, sir? 
Morning, sir. 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 Mor Okay, let's go ahead and get going. What a fun today. Mr. Betty may start up first time. Yes, I've got all that, sir. I'll tell the C&C. &C. I think he's on his way down now. Yes, things always happen that way. Still, we've got plenty available, I think. How long will they be changing those bombs? Well, here is the C&C, &C, so I'll ring up here later when I hear what to do. Goodbye, sir. Morning, Patroller. Morning, sir. How are we getting on? Well, sir, 27 group are sending off a Sunderland to relieve N of 407 on shadowing. The 28 group are sending off a Beaufort strike with torpedoes, followed by Hudson's with bombs. I see. I think we shall have to move a Beaufort squadron from Force to Iona in case we get a second chance of a strike on the enemy. He may continue on that southerly course. And in that connection, uh, we shall have to arrange for some sweeps in that area in case the shadowing aircraft loses the enemy in a storm. Yes, sir. By the way, when are those strikes going to get off? Now, the Beaufort ought to be off almost immediately, sir, and the Hudson's will be about an hour and a half. They've got to change their bombs. What's going on over there? Changing bombs? Yeah, it looks like a big setup. The Dusseldorf's here, sir, huh? and we have two forces in the neighborhood. One to the northeast, which I don't think will catch her, and this one to the southeast. But they're both light forces. Huh? And the Admiralty would like Coastal Command to attack the Dusseldorf so as to cripple her and allow the heavy ships to have a chance. I see. Well, it looks as though the main responsibility is on us now. And uh, that what we've laid on is only just about enough and we may have to do some more. Yes, sir. And in order to discuss it with the Admiralty. Would you get on, Tommy? Yes, sir. This message has come through from Gibraltar, sir. Thank you. Our navigator, I want you to work out sweeps to intercept the Dusseldorf. And across the shadows the whole time, and there'll be more later. Does that suit you all right? All right. Well, then our people are already on the move. All hatches closed. Are all the hatches closed? Yes, OK, Pam. OK, sir. Way to take. Everything all right, Mandy? Okay. Okay. And the situation is as you see it on the board there. Uh, the Catalina is shadowing. The Sunderland is going out to relieve her. The Beauforts in Iceland with torpedoes are ready to strike, to be followed by the Hudsons with bombs. Oh, and you're going to move that um, Beaufort squadron from Force to Iona. Well, I don't think there's anything more we can do. 
We must wait. And you'll let me know if anything happens. Right, sir. Okay. Thanks so much. Here, sir. I've parted those sweeps. Shall I take them up the SASO, or do you want to see them first? I'll straight upstairs. Thank you very much. Very good, sir. Air Ministry Warden, please. Plot a coastal here. I've got details of a strike for you. Sortie number 15 from Iceland. Taking off 10.15. Estimated time of return 14.55. Nine Hudson's, 1425 squadron. Off Mr. 
common captain. Three bumpers coming up on the port quarter, sir. Okay, okay. Oi! What is it? Bumpers attacking the old Dusty. Hey, Tubby, come and have a look at this. Where are they? Down there. I can't see Sweet Fanny from here. Let me know what happens, will you? Okay. They're breaking formation now, going into line astern. Flying right down on the deck. Boy, this is lovely ground. Now they're coming around. They're flying farther up the ship's course. Any minute now, they'll be turning into attack. Hey, it's me. How about some pretty first guard? They're turning, they're turning, they're going in. Sir? That means that she can get 35 miles in any direction before we reach her last position. That's right, sir. Well, I suggest when we get there, we do a square search. And we'll fly down the radar's last door to course for our first leg. Right. I think that's our best plan. We should be there by about 11 o'clock. Thank you. 
Since the Catalina turned for home, she's not been shadowed. When's the Sunderland due out there? She ought to have made contact an hour ago. What I imagine has happened is that the Dusseldorf's altered course. The Sunderland's doing a square search for her. Oh, look, she finds her again. Good show, sir. They found her again. By Jove, it's grand. What position does he give? 6105 North, 1410 West, course 063, speed 12 knots. By Jove, she's turned for home. MX from the southern, and we've got another force, TR, coming down from the northern, as hard as they can belt. Now, if your aircraft can keep him shadowed and knock a bit more off his speed, we've got him. Navigator calling, Captain. Navigator calling, Captain. We've almost reached the Raiders' position, sir. Right, fuse the bombs and come on up.
a lot. on the map, please. She's had two moldies, one near the stern, which have cut down her speed a good deal. Also, several direct hits with bombs, one of which has started a good fire. Iceland are keeping up the attacks, and 27 groups still shadowing. I'll pass on any more I get. All right, goodbye. OPW, what do you want now? All I want is a little information, please. Certainly. We're always at your service. We'd like to know the exact details of the damage you've done to the Lusseldorf. Well, that will mean the Sunderland going in right close. going in a little closer to observe the exact damage. Stand by everyone. Over. Jamie, I want you to go down to the bomb aimer's position and plug into the intercom and pass on any gen to Mr. Briscoe. You understand? Okay. And Briss, I want you to get a message pad and take down any information that Jamie will pass up. 
and get a message away immediately. Right out. Jamie, we're going into cloud. I'll give you warning before we come out. Remember, we won't be out for long, so you'll have to get cracking. Okie doke, sir. Right, off you go. Stand by. Ready, Sean? Ready, Jamie? Okay, sir. Right. Here we go. everybody. There's petrol about. No smoking anywhere. Do it, Dan. Go to the midships, will you? And tell them to stand by the front turret. Okay, sir. transmitting one spark from here now with all this juice about it's the most important message we'll have to risk it right sir oh, and send returning to base four tanks hit and then no more transmission
exactly what we want. Düsseldorf's been knocked about all right. Darn good report by the Sunderland. The 27 group. Have you sent anything out to escort T657? Nothing available. What about that Sunderland from the Australian squadron? The one that landed at Port Ferry Bay last night. All right, you send that. I'll make it all right. As far as we can make out, he must be pretty badly knocked about. We haven't had a jeep out of him since his first distress signal, so of course by now he may be down in the drink. Well, in any case, we'll keep a listening watch on his wavelength in case he does get his wireless going. Let's see now. He was here and he was shot at. Yes, we've sent a course to fly. You've got that with the rest of your jet. Okay. Then all we can do is fly out on reciprocal and hope we bump into her. Yes. Got your met report and your recognition signals? Yes, I saw the met man on the way in. Got everything buttoned up, Dougie? Yes, got it all. Here and here. You are all you want? Yes, sir, I'm all set. Right, you better get cracking now. boat out to leave us. That's grand news. I hope they get a move on. I hope so too. Yes. How's the petrol going, Joe? All right, we've got enough in the middle of town to get us home with. How's Pam Corby? He's all right. He's nearly finished now. Good. Relax now, I've got those sun sights. Were they good ones? Yes, the position line will cut our track. I should be able to get a very good ground speed. That means you can tell us when we'll get home. I hope so, sir. So do I. Got him? Right. How is he, Mace? We'll look after him, all right. What's it like, Roy? It'll be all right, so it'll hold. That'll get us home, all right? We always get home. Sit down, Pam. Under your coat. Burning? Lewis, uh, get some Tanifax and a towel, will you? What's that? Oh, and a sweater. Okay. We'll soon have you all right. Well, Force MX ought to be in contact with the Dusseldorf by now. We know there are several enemy aircraft active from Trondrum. They're probably looking for your force. Yes, she's close enough home for them to be able to give her air escort, but I see you're dealing with that. Our bow fighters from Badra. They ought to be just about there by now. They've been told to give sighting reports as well. Ah, oh, that's good. The thing that's really worrying me is our damaged Sunderland. She may easily run into a Yonkers 88 or something like that. Hmm. Well, she's got a good sting in her tail. Any news of tea for Tommy? No, sir. No news yet. What's our position now? The only thing to do is to keep on this course and hope for the best. A cup of tea, Pam. Oh, that's bloody mess of you, Lou. There's an aircraft on the port side, Johnny. My God. My God, it's 88. Turn it down, Johnny, quick. OK, turn it to starboard. Hello, we've got the front side. Hey, old boy, look after yourself.
Tony, it's gone straight over to starboard. OK, turn it to port. Put me out of action for a bit, Henry. Yes, and I spot of leave now, you boy. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's only right just for the guns. Thank God for that. Hello, Control. Starboard midship's gun, okay, sir? Okay, Jones. Everybody reloaded. Got new magazines on. Keep an eye open, everybody. Still three aircraft about you now. Captain the Navigator, Captain the Navigator, we've either missed her or she's down in the drink. Better work out a square search. Let me know. As soon as you've got the first course ready. Hold it, Navigator. We found them. There's a bit of a party on. Action stations, everybody. Captain to all positions. Action stations. In we go.
are you, Huey? Oh, I'm feeling fine, thank you, sir. What happened to him, Jamie? Oh, he stopped one in the arm, sir. I fixed it up all right. You're all right, Huey, aren't you? Yes. Good. How'd the ball fighters get on, sir? Uh, it was terrific, Jamie. They knocked hell out of them. How many did they get? Oh, well, you know our trouble. We couldn't go fast enough to catch them up. Slow but sure, that's us. Katie here. Those two Sunderland should be back here about 1930 hours. Oh, that's fine, sir. Sick order, please. Who asked me to put the slab off on, will you? Right, sir. Hello. The marine okay, section, sir. please. Look, I'm expecting two. Is that the marine section? About 1930 hours. Uh, will you get the slab off, please? Probably the casualties on board one. Thank you. communicate. The German raider Düsseldorf has been sunk. Following upon the attack by the Royal Air Force Coastal Command described in our last bulletin, a successful torpedo attack was delivered by swordfish aircraft of the fleet air arm. The damage inflicted by these attacks enabled His Majesty's ships to come to grips with her and the final engagement lasted only a few minutes. That's the end of the news. Oh, sure. so the Navy got our message, doesn't it? Huey. Oh, oh, sorry. Don't mind me. That Hudson did get a direct hit on the stern. Yes. So he may have been quite right when he said about three direct hits. Sir. Yeah. Good dog. All right, chaps, don't get up. All right, these are your two lads here. Hello, Huey. Hello, sir. Nice to know you're not going to be in here too long. Well, that's good news, sir. I wondered how long you're going to keep me lying down. Oh, here we are. Let's see this chap. Right here. How are you now, Pam? Oh, I'm feeling quite all right, sir. I don't see why they brought me in here, sir. Well, we must keep you under observation for 24 hours. But you'll have him back in your crew in three days' time. Oh, good. And now's my chance for a spot with leave, sir. Leave, old boy. Now you're talking. Leave, miss. There's no leave for you. As a matter of fact, we're going to West Africa. West Africa? No, I'll tell you. <laughs> 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 this week's funny story. There's nothing funny about it. As a matter of fact, I brought the signal on. I knew you wouldn't believe me. West Africa? Too far away. No weekends. We can't go there. Can't go. We're going, old boy, and we're going crack of dawn on Thursday morning. Thursday? God. <laughs>